what's up you guys if it's mr coachelt here coming to you with a pick a card hope all is going well with you guys hopefully you can get some clarity in your situation from this reading hopefully it's useful to you this is going to be a karma reading the title is what is the karma for the toxic ways so yeah if you are a visitor welcome return visitors welcome back Shout out to my subscribers, knowing all was popping with you guys. Hopefully you enjoy yourself. It's Aquarius season, so shout out to the Aquarius. Um, we have three pounds. This is pound number one, pound number two, pound number three. I'm feeling to give you some crystals, so I will give you... Yeah, I don't want to use this. I haven't used this in a long time. This is um, the Orange Aventurine, so this will be for pile number one. I will use the Red Aventurine, pile number three, and then the Green Aventurine for pile number two. So it's all Aventurine crystals, Orange, Green, Red, pile one, two, three. Pick your pal, and I'll see you in pal one. Pal one, if you pick this orange aventurine and this deck, this is your reading. Shout out to you guys. Hopefully this reading is useful to you. The title is, What's the Karma for the Toxic Ways? So yeah, I don't know what's going to come out. Take what apply and leave the rest. If you're a visitor, welcome. Returning visitors, welcome back. Shout out to my subscribers, new and old, what's popping with you? So we're going to get to see what is this person karma, but first we're going to see what they have done to get this karma. So, let's use this deck. This is my deck. So, let's shuffle it real quick. Even though it's been shuffled, I've been called to shuffle it again. It's Aquarius season now, so shout out to you guys. If you're Aquarius watching, a whole bunch of impulsive, rebellious energy is going to come through for us to shake us up. Gate, okay. Gatekeepers for power one. What is this person getting karma for? What caused this karma? Okay, so I've done another um, karma reading for my other channel, and these exact cards came out for them. I may actually, I'm going to pin this, the reading at the, um, in my car, in my end screen, I'm going to pin a karma a reading in it. It's going to be, if you're interested in watching it, you'll see, maybe you'll get some insight from that. But it says, um, don't be a person that's lying, stalking, la, 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 la. So this person, not la, 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 la. I'll tell you what I wrote. It says, don't be the um, person lying, stalking, deceiving, lustful, and being deceptive. So this person is a very deceptive person and they lustful. And they um, they kind of hold people against their will because they lie to people. It's like they present one thing that is not true. So this is part of why they're getting beat by this karma because they're a liar. This person could be Asian, Jamaican, English, or Af African. This person say you was right. I'm sorry I didn't listen. So you've given this person some advice. And they didn't listen. So now they're getting beat for it. Take what apply and leave the rest. This can apply to any relationship in your life. You pick the person or the people. I'll give you the insight. If a particular person come out like that, I will tell you. But it says this um, toxicator is doing spell work. They first a last name or nickname could be begin with a L K R P or a C like Larry, Kyle, Ricky, Patrick and Carlton. I don't know where those names come from. I just said them. Gatekeepers, why is these um people here um getting karma for power one? 
It says you are an illusion. Listen to your dreams, your guides, etc. So whoever you believe in that guides you, listen to them because they're trying to talk to you. This person is a, getting karma because they like to keep people in illusion. Earlier, I was going to say they um, present the smoke screen, but an illusion came out. They're an illusionist. It says take yourself out on a date. Screw them. Be unbothered. So if you are connected to this person, your guides want you to go start loving on yourself. Take yourself out. Take yourself out on a date. Doesn't have to be with a friend or anybody. Just by yourself. Get used to being by yourself. Some of you in this um, group, it seems like some of you have a hard time with being by yourself. You like to be around people. You codependent on friends. Like you like to do things with friends. If you have a, um, a partner, you like to be around your partner all the time. You have to learn to disconnect from that. That's a part of self-love. Take what apply, leave the rest. If it doesn't apply, let it fly. This person is a person that stalks. They do spell work. They are illusionists. This person have mental disorder. And a lot of people like saying that I'm a nurse. I have a lot of psych background. This person or these people have mental disorders. Either they bipolar or, you know, they could be a little sociopathic, a little psycho, you know. Yeah, they have something going on with them mentally. No um, disrespect to anybody who's dealing with mental health issues because we are humans and humans are faulted. So everybody has some type of mental disease to some degree. So there you go. It says they can please you sexually, emotionally, but they are immature. So this person seems like a person for um, some of you guys that's in a community. They got like community dick or community pussy. Because they can please you emotionally. They immature. They can't do anything for you but please you sexually. And normally in a hood or in like those settings in a, you know, these people can you because this is what they bank on these are like hobosexuals and stuff like that so they'll get with a female or a male give them good sex and they're moving on in life it says why are you so detached talk to me so you're not talking to this person they feel like you detached and i think again some of them do have mental issues again because like people do comic shit to you and think you're supposed to talk to them and like no you bugged out it says Leo and Aquarius. This person have beady eyes. So Aquarius, you guys out here being toxic. The flip side of Aquarius is a Leo, if you guys don't know. That's your opposite energy. So it's like Leo and Aquarius is, is out here getting beat by karma. On the bottom of this deck, it says a Pisces. So, And on the top, it says immature and lustful. So let's see. Gatekeepers, what's the karma for this toxic person doing spell work? It says distorted view of love. So this person, again, have a mental dis <laughs> mental disorder. I'm not laughing at that like that. But it's just coming through that this person, and this comes from this person's childhood, 9 out of 10. Or if it's not in a childhood, I believe it stems from a childhood. Because say, for instance, if you have a healthy childhood, you were raised emotionally healthy. If you've been hurt in love in your teenage years, you could kind of rebound from that. You could kind of course correct. But if you have distorted love from when you were little, you never know what it looks like, anything healthy. So this is why this person is toxic because they have a distorted view of love. They've been they've been neglected when they was a child. Clarify this Leo and Aquarius. What karma is this person getting? It says Gallus vibes. Gallus vibes mean a person who likes to have a lot of females or community dick if you're in America. It's the same thing. So, yeah, this person don't like to commit to people. They like to have a lot of people, and this is why they are very deceptive and lustful. They don't. They grow not to commit to people. This energy, when it's like a gallus energy, um, it's like on the islands, you grow to have multiple women. It's a part of the culture to have a lot of women. They, they like praise that. So this is another thing that this person was abused some way, somehow, emotionally, physically, mentally, and then culturally they grow with this. So 
this is why this person had a lot of females because if it have gallus vibes this person if you wasn't with them sexually they was cheating on you they had a bag of females i mean just like females all over the place like yeah it says she's thicker than a snicker one last call for this and then i'm gonna get it really into this reading because um clarify why you're so detached talk to me what does this person want power one to talk to them about why they want to talk to power one it says move to calmer waters with culture i mean with culture yeah this culture um this is an island person strong it says move to calmer waters with courage so you need not to talk to this person your guides don't want you to talk to this person your higher self don't want you talking to this person so okay we're gonna get into the karma for this person gatekeepers what is the karma for this leo or aquarius for power one this person will never find a friend like you so some of you were friends to this person you guys were understanding you were 10 toes down which means you are very loyal to this person caring patient yeah this person is never gonna find a friend like you ever whoever this person is what is this um karma for this Leo and this Aquarius person? It says some of them will be shot or stabbed by other lover. Love triangle. I know somebody who went through this. This happened around me. Like, not me per se, but I know somebody who definitely went through this. And this happened over this summer. Um, This person will be in a violent relationship. Yep. Now, if this doesn't pertain to you, these things, these things will pertain to people around you that's close to you. They, they're going through this themselves in a life, whether you know it or not. It says they will lose stability. They will lose their house. They will become home, homeless. What would the karma be for this person for power one? It says this: the universe will orchestrate casual run-ins with you. And every time they see you, they'll be love struck. Yep. They're going to be love struck when they see you because they can't have you no more. And this type of um, energy is very obsessive. So they're going to want to see you. And normally when they see you, you're going to glow up. You're going to start looking good because that's just how it works. You're going to, the universe going to give you a glow up, especially your guides is out here protecting you. When you see this person, they're going to stop. Look, they're going to lose their looks. Some of them are going to start losing their looks. So they're not going to look as good as they once did to you. This person will watch you walk away and prosper in life. Yeah, some of y'all have a blessings coming your way if y'all stay on the right track. It says, what was done to you will be done to them by a comic. So they're going to get somebody who they really like in life. And a comic is going to do exactly what they did to you, maybe worse. Your tables will be prepared in the front of your enemies to see. Your enemies going to see you. It's three cards that say they're going to watch you rise. It says depressed coping with alcohol issues partying dealing with sneaky links sneaky links are comics or peep third parties popping pills they on drugs and they're gonna be dealing with porn like they're gonna be stuck in that hypersexual um sex addiction type of energy on that comic well they will find pieces of you and other people be, be a little, a little wow <laughs> my tongue just start bumbling and stumbling with this one they will find pieces of you and other, but will be left unsatisfied. So they are never going to find a complete whole person like you, whether you're a friend, a lover, a family member, whoever. Everyone they fooled will turn on them. So if they gossip about you or try to tarnish your name in a community or whatever scene this is, people are going to realize who they are and turn on them. So let's get into your deck. What is the um, karma for this? Eight of Swans in reverse. They're not going to be able to talk to you. They're not going to even be able to line these ducks up in a row. Like, they're not going to be able to get anything off the ground. Nothing is going to get off the ground. As it get off the ground, it's going to crash and burn. And this is Fire Energy. Leo, Sagittarius, and um, Aries. What is the karma for this um, Leo or Aquarius energy here for Power One? The devil just showed this face. Some of them could be a, a Capricorn, Aquarius, Cuspers. It says high priestess in reverse. This person is going to be trapped. They're not going to be able to listen to their intuition. This is a Pisces energy. 
or Virgo energy. High Priestess in reverse is somebody that is a gossip person, person like the lie, person that have hidden agendas, they hide their hands, they present one way, but they're not. It's like they have 10,000 masks on. They're going to be ignoring, ignoring their intuition. Some of these people are into um, spell work, black magic. Also, some of them, are if they're in a community, these are the type of people that sell drugs. Or they could be good at like mixing chemicals and stuff like that. This is a person that's very smart, but they're very toxic. Clarify, um... The judgment came out. This is two minor, a major arcana is coming out back to back. This person's life is going to be in shambles. The universe is just going to keep beating them and beating them and beating them till they surrender and till they come for an awakening. This is the high priestess and a judgment. A high priestess is under judgment. That's something you never really see unless they toxic as hell. This person does spell work too. Like, oh, I did say it already. But yeah, this person is going to be wanting to repent they're going to be praying for a new life for a new soul this person going to want a redemption from everybody because again they're going to be getting everybody going to return their back on them they're going to want forgiveness people are going to see their pure intent they're going to see that this person is a person that is like very very shady person what i'm saying is true with the ace of wands on the bottom what time is it let's get some of these and then I'll give you a love, I mean, self-care oracle. And I'll go to Pal 2. What is going to be this person's karma for Pal 1? For doing a toxic bullshit to Pal 1? It's like the deck is setting itself up. Dirty office. This person, all they're going to do is get dirty office. What they did to you is going to be done to them by the karmic and guess what if they robbed and stole from you thief you see the person with their little pole down there yeah they're gonna get robbed somebody gonna have um if they don't get robbed for anything monetarily they're gonna physically rob them emotionally rob them they're gonna have karmic soul ties with these toxic females and this person it says it there. They ain't shit. Meanwhile, you're going to be unfazed, unbothered. I meant to get this card out because it was peaking. This is going to be the last card and then I'm leaving. It says creativity. It says steals your ideas, copies your work, duplicates, and feed off of you. This person is an energy vampire. If you have anything creative, protect your work. Or, yeah, protect it because this person is trying to be you. It's like they're trying to steal your... um your life they want to be you self or um self-love oracles for power one that they need at this time gatekeepers it's self it says self exploration peel off the false persona and get to know yourself to find your truth so you as well as well as this person have to find your truth because when you're in a karmic relationship, normally it's like a mirroring effect that y'all doing. Unless it's something that you were supposed to teach this person. And it seems like you guys were supposed to learn from one another. Two more um, oracles and I'm going to go to pal two. It says sleep and rest. Let your body have the peace it deserves without feeling guilty. Some of you are going to be leveling up, going through energetic um, level ups. So you may be tired a lot. Don't feel like eating. Just feel sleepy and drained. It says denial. Denial to accept situation, unhealthy cycles, or addictions. So don't be in denial. Stop being in denial. Stop being in denial about your unhealthy addictions and ways and patterns. You're going to have to start seeing the darkness within yourself as well. So if you have gotten something from this, like and or subscribe. Till next time. How to, if you pick the green aventurine with this deck, this is your reading. Shout out to you guys. Hope this reading will be useful to you. This is a karma reading. The reading is, what is their karma for their toxic ways, their toxic bullshit that they have done in your life. So take what apply, leave the rest. I don't know what's going to come out. Shout out to the visitors, the returning visitors.
Shout out to you guys. Welcome back. Visitors, welcome back. What I'm talking about. Just welcome back. If you're a visitor or a returning visitor, shout out to my subscribers. So, we're going to get to this. We're going to see what caused the situation for them to get this karma. Gatekeepers, what caused the situation for this person to get their karma? This card keep coming out. I told Pal One, I did a, a reading on my other channel, a karma reading, this card came out. This card came out in Pal One. This person has an accent. It could be Jamaican, Asian, English, or African. This person is upset type of person. They're a hostile type of person. They're a person that's always mad and always want their way. They're very miserable. They go around and just complain every time you see them. It's always a complaint. It says the X is playing with spell work on a low. This card came out in power one, but a different card. I have another card that says something similar. So, shout out to you guys who have been in multiple pals. This is in reverse. It says, um, why are you in, why are you, says, why are you detached? Talk to me. So, this person wants you to talk to them. This came out in pal one as well, but it came out in reverse here. So some of you are talking to this person, but some of you are not talking to this person, and they want to know why you detach. Damn, why are these cards coming back out like this? This person energy is stalking this reading. They can please you sexually, but they emotionally they are immature, and this came out in power one. This is a person probably in a community that have community dick or community but pussy that know how to please you, but they immature. They can't bring nothing but sex to the table. This is the type of person when you have sex, they think that they're in love with you and you're in a relationship. And, yeah, nobody has never discussed anything like that. But this is that type of energy. So this person, trigger warning. This person could be a rapist. They ignorant. They arrogant. They prideful. It says pride is by the fall. So this person, if they have a high standing in community, they're going to fall from grace. Nobody can't say nothing to them because they live in their ego. It says, message of concern. Somebody's in despair. They're obsessed over your lips, your eyes, your hair. So some of you are very pretty. Or you have very pretty attributes that they like, that they find is pretty. Because beauty is in the eye of the beholder. So some of these people is probably like very, very obsessive over you. If they're obsessed over your hand stuff. It says, main male. This person could be a Virgo. It says you're in an illusion. Listen to your dreams and your guides. These cards came out in power one. Go to power one if you haven't. But I'm not going to spend a lot of time in this power because the same energy is coming out. So I'm going to give you a reading, yes. But you could go with power, um, power one. Somebody here could be a Scorpio or a Taurus. Clarify the karma for this person from the islands with an accent. It says, so toxic, run, shit, all these cars just popped out like that. It says, so toxic, run for the hills. This person is probably pretty dangerous too. If it has, when I said the R word, and the arrogant and ignorant and all that, yeah, they're very dangerous. It says, she's pretty and social. It says, run for the hills. This card came out in power one. So again, the same energy is coming out. It says, I damaged this soul connection. So some of them know they damaged this connection. Some You guys must be waiting on an apology because they said they're waiting on an apology. You are a groupie or a friend. It says your group of friends are actually jealous of you. So you're around a bunch of people who are jealous of you and don't mean you know well. They're gossiping about you. And it says, what did you want from me? So some of these people want to know, what did you want from him? Why did you want to be in a relationship with him? She's secretly lusting off of females. So some of them play for the same sex. They like the same sex on the low. This person is a liar. This person could be a Libra, but it's a karmic situation because this is the karma side. I mean, karma card. Person could be an Aries as well. It says she's for the street and they love it. And he's for the street. So let's just get into their karma. Because, again, I'm not going to spend a lot of time in this pile. Gatekeepers, what's the karma for this um this person? 
these cards is literally coming out. Look at all these cards. I shuffled them to the to the max. It says this person will never find a friend like you. Understanding, caring, patient, loyal, ten toes down. Maybe some of these messages for me, the way they bleed and through constantly. What is this person, karma? I don't know who this I will have to think who is this. I don't know. I know a lot of toxic people. I'm from the island, so shit. They all toxic. Baby mother, father showing out. They will lose their job. They will go to their job and show out on their job. This person going to lose their job with um family drama coming at their job. The female or the male may call a job and start a bunch of drama at their job so they could lose their job. The cars will be repoed. The car, um, clothes will be thrown out for neighbors to see. It says the universe will orchestrate you to run into this person every time. And every time they see you, they're going to be love struck. This came out in power one. He will work for the karmic with no reward, stuck in a hopeless situation. This person going to be on a karmic cycle, on a karmic well. We'll be chasing and losing while you boss up in life. That came out multiple times. What is this um, Virgo um, or Pisces or Scorpio's um, karma for power one? Eight of coins in reverse and eight of swords in reverse. This person is never going to have any money. They're going to, like they say, they're going to continuously work for um, the comic without any results. That's the eight of pentacles in reverse. The eight of swords in reverse. This person is going to be like, some of them is going to be sad because they're going to know they're in a comic situation but can't get out because it's the eight of swords in reverse. It's like they're going to be coming out of anxiety, but they're going to be trapped in karma. Trapped. What a wicked weave, what a wicked weave, we, I, ha I hate when I do this. What a wicked web we weave when once we try to deceive. Hangman energy is Pisces energy. This person, whatever gossip they were saying, then hung them up. This energy came out. The community going to turn on them, came out in power one. This person going to get ghosted by people. Nobody not going to want to be around them. Tower moments, Sila, as I say that, nothing but tower moments. Person could be a Scorpio, Aries, a Taurus, or a Libra, like I said earlier. With this tower moment, everything gonna crash and burn in their life. So they gonna fall from grace. As they fall, you gonna rise. As they start to look bad, they looks go to waste. You gonna look good. It's like the universe is just gonna bless you, and they just gonna see you, and it's gonna be nothing but toxic chaos in their life. <laughs> it's gonna be chaos erupting all over the place. Violence gonna be going on. Disagreements going on. Rug being pulled from underneath them. I'm going to give you a self-care um, oracle. Self-care oracle for power two that they need right now. It says open up. You're being asked to open up your heart to another. To let down your walls and trust that they want what's best for you. Your life will open up in wonderful ways once you decide to open up. Do not let this energy here stop you from really getting true love in your um, life. Because if you do that, they will love that. Because they're going to be trapped. They will love to see you trapped. Never prosper in life emotionally. You can have everything together, but you don't have no one to love. They will love that because you're allowing them to win. Anytime you close yourself off from a past relationship, you're letting that past person win. Because they energetically have you trapped the way they want you to be. Oh shit, look at this. Clear your energy, as I said, energetically trapped. Refill your energy and reclaim your power. Listen to music. Meditate. Go on to Pal 3. Like and subscribe. Till next time in Tarotland. Pal 3, if you pick this, the Red Adventure, this is your reading. This is your deck, your reading. Now, I'm going to tell you real quick. I'm going to pin a, a, a karma reading from my other channel on the end screen. If you want to see it, you can interest and you can look at it. But these cards literally came out in every pile. Not from the reading I'm talking about. This reading here, pile 1, 2, and 3, the reading, the cards came out. So I'm going to breeze through this and see if I could get other oracles to see if another message will come through. But here we go. It says, uh, um, this is a, what's the karma for the toxic um, ways in your life? And I'm going to run through this real quick. If we have time, I'll get other energies out for you. Try to anyway, because these cards just keep, the message keep repeating itself. It says, you were so right. I'm sorry I didn't listen. That came out in power one. It says, this water sign is a hater, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. It says, don't be the one that's a liar, deceptive, lustful, and stalking came out in power one. This toxic hater is doing spell work on a low, first, last, or middle name, or nickname could be Gin with a L, K, R, P, or C, power one. 
have an accent, can be Jamaican, Asian, English, or African, and every last palace came out in. Soul recognition, but they all lost. So you guys had a past life together. You had a strong chemistry or a strong connection, but they're lost. They're not going your direction. They're not learning in life. They're not growing. It says, the golden child, late bloomer, light worker, angel, star seed. So some of you guys are um, like very, like, what would I say? Like a high priestess into the arts, very intuitive, very tapped in. But this person is lost. They're not tapped in. And it says they're a mad rapper. they always mad. they always hateful. they always in their ego. It's always a problem that came out in Pal, Pal 2. What is their karma going to be? Everyone they fooled with will turn on them. This came out in Pal 1. So everybody going to find out this person is a liar if they try to tarnish your name. Those messages is in Pal 1 and 2. It says their house will be robbed by the karmic or stolen when hung over so somebody gonna be hung over and somebody gonna have things stolen out of their house a karmic is gonna go to their house probably to have sex or something and while they sleep hung over they gonna get robbed it says a house fire total loss they will be stuck in limbo they're gonna be stuck on a karmic cycle while you boss up in front of them all of their secrets will be revealed in the public setting this person will never find a friend like you came out in power one, you guys are very understanding, very loyal, patient, and caring type of person. It says death of a close friend or a family member. So let's see what else we can get out of this. Let's use your death, matter of fact. Hold on, damn it. I know this reading is still going, but this the screen went blank. Hopefully it doesn't cut out. Gatekeepers, what will be the karma for this person? At any minute, this reading could cut off, so hopefully we'll go to power one and two. Um, page of Wands, and it says the Empress. So this person is always going to be stuck walking on slippery, treacherous, un what can I say, uncertain situations. You're going to be the Empress. You could be their baby mother. You could be a mother, a father. This could be a lover, a family. You know those situations this person play out in. But you're going to be looking back at this person while they on unstable grounds. Why you are abundant and grounded. And you're not going to want to talk to them. What is this person's karma? Gatekeepers. For pal three. They're going to be trying to listen to the universe. Tap in. Eight of swords. This person going to be in a mental prison. Some of them could actually go to prison. They're going to be trying to listen to intuition. But their intuition is going to be blocked. They're going to have so much anxiety going on. What's going to be this person, karma? They're going to be stuck in page of pentacles. Why are you the king of pentacles? You're going to be able to prosper, go on, move on in life, have what you want. This person is not going to have any money. Nothing is ever going to grow for them. Let me give you your love or, I mean, your self-care oracles before this cut out. It says balance. Juggling too many things at once. Find time for yourself. So start showing yourself more self-love, like going out to eat, go to spas if you're into spas, Party, go out for a drink, go 